Oz Hillman here with an encouraging word for you today from TGIF, Today God is for Us. The title of today's message is Walking in the Anointing from 1 Samuel 16, 13. So Samuel took the horn of oil and anointed him in the presence of his brothers, and from that day on the Spirit of the Lord came upon David in power. Has the Spirit of the Lord rested on your life? Can you cite the time when God's Spirit began demonstrating his power through you. David knew the day the Spirit of the Lord began a special work in him. That Spirit was different from most leaders. Instead of seeking power and control, he led in response to a need. Instead of being a perfect person, he learned from his mistakes and acknowledged them among those he led. Instead of placing confidence in his own abilities, he sought wisdom from the only real commander in charge. David never lost a battle through his many years of leading Israel. He failed God by sinning with Bathsheba and by numbering the troops, but he learned from those failures, and he had to pay a price for them. However, God's Spirit never left David. He never left because of David's willingness to keep a soft heart toward God, even when he failed. God wants to do the same in you and me, but he will not allow that spirit to rest on us if we seek to control outcomes and manipulate out of our need for power. Servant leaders know that they are only a tool in the master's hand. They do not value themselves more than they ought. David's heart was fully the Lord's. Is your heart fully the Lord's to do what? He wills through your life. You know, David is an interesting character. You know, he had the confidence when he was a young teenager to uh, kill a lion and uh, a bear. He also had the confidence to go against Goliath. Um, But that confidence was also uh, in God. And sometimes he got into being overconfident and prideful. And that led him to a downfall when he sinned with Bathsheba. But he learned from that. You know, the Bible talks about four types of fools in the Bible. The first type of fool is a simple fool, and that's not a bad term. A simple fool is someone who makes mistakes and learns from those mistakes. David was a simple fool. And so I pray that we will all be simple fools, that we'll learn from our mistakes and we'll grow in them. I often say we need to learn to fail forward. You know, it means understanding that, yeah, we failed. That doesn't make we ourselves a failure. It just means we failed. And we need to learn from that failure so that we don't repeat it in the future. And so that's what I want to pray for you today, that you'll be a quick learner. You'll be a, uh, an understudy of the Holy Spirit to help you appropriate the lessons he wants you to learn from your mistakes. Father, we thank you that we are, uh, none of us are perfect and that you use our mistakes to allow us to grow and to be better people. And so we just commit this day that whatever mistakes we make, we're quick to repent, quick to ask forgiveness and move on because we are not the mistake. We just made a mistake. And so help us to understand that. And we renounce all shame in our lives this day that you've not called us to live in shame, but in victory and grace. In Jesus' name, amen. Have a great day.